Hey guys, welcome to the Bitcoin.com weekly news recap for October 1st, 2021. My name is Michael Coombe and on this week's show, we're looking at China's crackdown not deterring the Bitcoin bulls. Fed chair says US inflation is more enduring than anticipated. We have Bukele sharing a video of volcano-powered Bitcoin mining facility. And finally, the cryptocurrency trading hamster outperforming the S&P 500. If you are not subscribed to the show, make sure you hit that red button below that says subscribe. Each week, we do a deep dive into the latest and greatest crypto stories. So you're going to get unique insights, a unique perspective. So if you're not subscribed, you're going to miss out on all the great content that we've got coming up. One other little small favor is it takes a split second to do and that's smashing the thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. We're trying to spread the word here on cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, anything useful, any cryptocurrencies. We're really trying to spread the word on them. So if you, if you can do it, just smash that thumbs up button. It really, really helps us out. So let's jump into our first story here. China's crypto crackdown, but fundamentals still show bull market continuation. So China has been a very hot topic. Obviously, China are the number one most populated country in the world. And they have been, there's been an ongoing crypto crackdown in the nation, which has seen exchanges dumping users. E-commerce giant Alibaba has decided to ban sales of cryptocurrency, uh, mining equipment and coins. And there's just been a lot of other ripple effects, mainly coming from um, after the People's Bank of China's recent comments on offshore exchanges and domestic crypto use. So let's dive in here a little in a little more detail. So the People's Bank of China recently published a Q&A to its website stating that Chinese citizens participating in offshore virtual currency exchange is considered illegal financial activity. The central bank also reiterated its previous stance, noting that financial institutions and non-bank payment institutions can't process cryptocurrency payments. Um, Ulrich K. Like here, executive director at crypto hedge fund ARK36, sent a note over to the Bitcoin.com news team, noting that in spite of all the hubbub over China, it's really nothing new. And this is, to be honest, something that I've heard as well from a lot of my my contacts in cryptocurrency in China, they've said nothing's really changed. Um, there's been a little bit more of a vocalization about it, but in terms of like the amendments and documentation and publishings of the central bank and of um, the People's Bank of China, there's, there's not really been anything um, added. Anyway, so like noted, Yet again, the Chinese government has cracked down on Bitcoin. Since 2013, it has done so at least seven times now. Investors should be careful not to make emotional decisions based off this trending news story as on-chain fundamentals still indicate that the bull market continuation in Q4 is likely. And we've got a tweet here um, from Niraj um, Agrawal and he said, when my friends ask me about the China ban, all I can say is, ah, that happens all the time. Um, another little interesting snippet, Bobby Lee, co-founder of one of China's very fast Bitcoin exchanges, agrees the situation isn't as bad as some people are making it out to be, tweeting, don't panic. As bad as this may sound, it's actually not the last nail in the coffin. And um, still others are drawing connections between 2017 news when China similarly tightened the, regula <laughs> the regulatory vice grip on crypto and prices. And those suffering at first shot up to new all-time highs soon after. So what do you guys think? Is this a season, is this like a positive signal that in fact Bitcoin is, is is on the rise? Do you think China are really tightening down and this is a really firm, harsh ban? Um, how do you think this is going to play out in China? Obviously, the, one of the main reasons cryptocurrency was created by Satoshi Nakamoto being, you know, the very first inception of a cryptocurrency was this idea that it was outside of government control. So it's, it's kind of like a, an interesting experiment to see what happens here. Can, can China crack down enough on all the activities around cryptocurrency to stop people from using it? What are your thoughts? As always, we love to hear your thoughts and comments in the section below. Okay, guys, let's move on to our next story now. The Fed chair says US inflation is more enduring than anticipated. So 
Um, fortunately or unfortunately, we're going from one central bank, the People's Bank of China, over to the US Federal Reserve Bank and uh, its chairman, Jerome Powell, saying that uh, in the US, inflation is more enduring than in anticipated. So as reported by Bitcoin.com News earlier this week, Powell had pre-published remarks to be given at his address to the Senate Banking Committee on the topic of inflation. The remark stated, inflation is elevated and will likely remain so in coming months before moderating. As the economy continues to reopen and spending rebounds, we are seeing upward pressure on prices, particularly due to a supply bottleneck in some sectors. On Monday, longtime market bull Phil Orlando said markets could be in store for a 10% correction. So across the board, not just cryptocurrency markets, but stock markets, real estate markets, etc. Over the course of the next five weeks or so. In an interview with CNBC's Trading Nation, Orlando stated, On the monetary policy side, inflation has been running much hotter than the Fed and the administration has been prophesizing. We think inflation is more sustainably higher that's going to result in the Federal Reserve changing monetary policy, both in terms of their taper and their interest rate increases much more quickly than they originally told us. The news of this sustained inflation comes at the same time US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is urging lawmakers to raise the federal debt ceiling in the face of impending default. So what we've got here is, you know, the US Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell stating that <laughs> inflation is going to be more enduring and then we've got Janet Yelling here saying that we desperately, the US desperately needs to raise their federal debt ceiling or this default. If the US defaults, right, this means they don't have enough money to, to, to pay off their debts. It means public spending will, will, will essentially grind to an halt, a halt until a better solution is found. So it, it's like super unknown. This is, this has never happened before. Um, and obviously inflation, inflation is, is, is going to drive the cost of consumer goods up. And with the way COVID-19 has played out as well, um, creating supply shortages, it's going to be a very interesting time for the broader financial economic markets. Um, a lot of instability, a lot of of it as well in China with Evergrande that we covered um, last week. So what are your thoughts? How does this play out? Does everything kind of just tick over and does the, the US just raise that debt ceiling? Um, who knows? Post your thoughts in the comment section below. We love to hear them. Let's move on to something a little bit more positive now, and that's Salvadorian President Nayib Bukele, who's now very well known in the, the crypto world and somewhat of a crypto celebrity, shared a video of Bitcoin mining rigs being installed at a geothermal power plant. So Bukele tweeted on Tuesday, um, as the ASIC Bitcoin mining rigs being installed at a volcano-powered geothermal energy plant, with the brief commentary, first steps. The video has racked up over 2 million views and over 12,000 retweets. A lot of people are excited. Um, some people, not everyone in the country, however, was, was super happy with Bukele's post. One user whose location is listed as El Salvador called the president a hypocrite, saying that many in El Salvador have been waiting on electricity for more than 30 years. Like the geothermal Bitcoin mining experiment, which according to Bukele is going to cost $480 million, public reaction to the new state-created Chivo wallet and Bitcoin law is also mixed. While the crypto community on social media seem very excited, there have been several issues on the ground with protests, non-acceptance of Bitcoin payments even by government offices, and long lines of people trying to exchange their Bitcoin for US. Dollars, and we'll throw up a tweet on the screen here. And uh, the, the translation is: While it's true they are increasing electricity production, it's only to mine Bitcoin. Meanwhile, there are people who have been waiting for 30 years to get hooked up to the grid. Not that he's interested in helping those most in need. Hypocrite. So Bukele has actually discussed this previously in, in an interview with Peter McCormack. He stated that. Geothermal energy is a very, very clean source of energy with almost no downsides. However, he didn't know the country's struggle with providing electricity to rural areas, even though El Salvador is Central America's largest producer of geothermal energy. So what do you think about this? I think it's pretty neat. It's, it's certainly harnessing nature to um, fuel the growth of Bitcoin, which is, which is very interesting. Um, does it feel like maybe he's prioritizing this over providing 
essential electricity needed in rural areas in El Salvador. Maybe I'm not one to judge. I don't know, you know, if these if these tweets are valid or if they're just fud. Um, what do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. So cryptocurrency trading hamster outperforms the S&P 500. And so just to end this show on a more lighthearted note, we've got the story of a crypto trading hamster that has been outperforming humans, Bitcoin and the S&P 500. So not all streamers on the popular online platform Twitch are gamers, some are crypto enthusiasts. And one is a literal hamster, Mr. Gox, a rodent with a portfolio that achieved gains of 50% before the latest crypto sell-off, chooses his investment in an interesting way. As Bitcoin.com news details, the system devised by Mr. Gox's human caretaker uses a hamster wheel to pick a currency and two tubes marked buy and sell, which a cute trader then crawls through to indicate if the selected crypto must be bought or sold. Mr. Gox's crypto portfolio includes Tron, XRP, Cardano and Ether, plus 30 other cryptos. The hamster has over 10k followers on Twitch and almost 14,000 followers on Twitter. Though the rodent trader's portfolio has decreased a little bit in light of recent market conditions, Gox saw gains of over 16% in his portfolio as of Monday since June, meaning that he outpaced both Bitcoin and the S&P for the same time period. And so we've got a tweet here that details his career performance and that he's concluded his office hours for tonight with three orders placed. I did actually see a tweet, we'll try and find that tweet from Elon Musk about Mr. Gox as well, um, that he really rates, it was something along, he really rates his portfolio choices so that's that's kind of amusing that's it for this week guys thank you so much for watching don't forget if you want to get started in cryptocurrency go ahead go to wallet.bitcoin.com grab yourself a free wallet you can store bitcoin bitcoin cash and ethereum and now erc20 tokens so if you want to send store receive any of those and it be fully in your control make sure you grab the bitcoin.com wallet you can get it on the google play store and the app store so head over to wallet.bitcoin.com and do that now so it's been a crazy week china cracking down on cryptocurrencies and bitcoin you've got us inflation jerome powell saying it's going to be more enduring than anticipated you've got bukele sharing this video of geothermal powered asic bitcoin mining rigs being installed amazing stuff and last and certainly not least is the acute little mr gox picking out um, cryptocurrencies and outperforming the s p 500 so if you enjoyed this this week's show please guys make sure you take just a split second smash that thumbs up button we really appreciate it make sure you subscribe as well and we will see you on the next episode have a great week